Hi dear students, in this video I'm going to explain functions arising from real life problems. For the uh, calculating this one, we are going to I'm going to give simple example about cooking time and chicken example and in how many hours we can uh, cook uh, chicken with respect to m kilogram how much kilogram it is. The rule it is given here allow 45 minutes per kilogram and then an uh, extra 20 minutes we are going to add extra 20 minutes and I'm going to try to explain what does this sentence means here this sentence what does it mean I'm going to try to explain this one in this table here this values they are showing the mass of the uh, chicken so when it is one what is the uh, what is the time in how much uh, minute it will end uh, cooking time it will end we are going I'm going to try to explain that one here so uh, the rule is 45 minutes per kilogram so it's going to be for one kilogram you are going to, to 45 times one uh, kilogram times 45 minutes you are going to cook and you are going to add always 20 minutes how many chicken uh, how much chicken it is not important how much kilogram it is not important always you are going to add 20 minutes to the result so the first one is 65 minute it's going to be so second one uh, 45 times 2 because uh, for each kilogram you are going to cook 45 minutes so 2 times 45 you need to cook then uh, you should add 20 which is equal to 90 plus 20 110 minutes it's going to be and the third one 45 times 3 45 minutes times 3 because for each kilogram you are going to cook 45 minutes so that's equal to 45 times 300 35 plus 20 which is equal to 155 it's going to be 155 then the last one it's going to be uh, 45 times 4 which is 180 then plus 20 it's going to be which is 200 in minutes as you understand here you are calculating with respect to this formula here allow 45 minutes per kilogram and this is the mathematical way to calculate that one and algebraically we can write like this 45 times mass plus 20 minute will be the function if I draw the graph of this function I already hide the function here graph of the function here it should be something like this let me open this one now okay in this diagram in this uh, diagram M represent the kilogram and these are the kilograms and, and the, here it is the time uh, here four hours as you see it's going to be equal to 200 uh, minute it shows that one and for one kilogram for one kilogram it's going to show you for one kilogram it's going to show you uh, between um, 50 55 60 and 65 unit it's going to be for one kilogram it's easy to understand each square on the upper side it shows five minutes on this side it shows 0 0.1 kilogram so the sides of the square with respect to that one it is our graph this is our graph it's going to be here also uh, with respect to time let's say uh, 425 minutes how much kilogram you can cook uh, if you have 125 minutes how much it should be your uh, and you can find also this one here as you see 2.1 2.3 2.2 2 2.3 it's going to be so for 125 minutes you can uh, cook 2.3 kilogram uh, chicken in your kitchen okay this is the second exercise and in this exercise Zainab can hire both from company A and B and the prices here there there is a formula for the prices the cost is 5 plus 3 times n n is representing here 
the hour and the C it is in dollar it's going to be show the cost of each company so I'm going to make table for each company and then find the values of N uh, for which company A is more expensive than company B so first we should understand that one the formula for the company A for cost I'm talking is equal to 5 plus 3 times N so if N is equal to 1 if N is equal to 1 cost it's going to be 5 plus 3 times 1 which is equal to 8 dollar here 8 dollar it's going to be so if n is equal to 2 n is equal to 2 cost it's going to be equal to 5 plus 3 times 2 which is equal to 11 dollar it's going to be and if n is equal to 3 cost it's going to be equal to 5 plus 3 times 3 which is equal to fourteen dollar. As you understand from the uh, for n is equal to four, it's going to be equal to uh, n is equal to four. It's going to be equal to seventeen dollar because each uh, time it's increased by three dollar, eight dollar, eleven dollar, fourteen dollar. So seventeen dollar it's going to be. N is equal to five. It's going to be equal to twenty dollar. N is equal to six. It's going to be equal to. 23 dollar it's going to be so the price is going like this for the company a for the company b the formula is equal to 10 plus 2n so if n is equal to 1 if one for you are renting for one hour the cost it's going to be equal to 10 plus 2 times 1 which is equal to 12 dollar for the second one cost it's equal to 10 plus 2 times 2 which is equal to here it is 12 and uh, this is going to be 14 dollar so uh, if you continue if n is equal to 2 if n is equal to if n is equal to 3 the cost it's going to be equal to 10 plus 2 times 3 which is equal to 16 dollar as you see here it's continuing like that n is equal to 4 uh, it's going to be equal to eighteen dollar if n is equal to five it's going to be equal to twenty dollar if n is equal to six it's going to be equal to twenty two dollar at the beginning the first company uh, i mean the first company it seems uh, smaller prices but later the this is the company a and this is the company b as you see in uh, second company uh, later the prices are decreasing but for the first company uh, after five hours the uh, prices are same after five hours prices are same after the uh, after six hours uh, company a more expensive than company b it's going to be so it was asked in the question also that one here I show that value also here okay let me continue one more uh, topic direct proportion and let me finish the video if y is directly proportional to x then y is equal to written k times x if x is directly proportional to y then uh, it's written y is equal to k times x uh, if y is directly proportional to x sorry I read the uh, reverse and where k is called constant of the proportionality so k is constant of the proportionality it's going to be here there are some exercises y is directly proportional to x like it says here so uh, when y is equal to 4 uh, what is and x is equal to 5 find the formula connecting y and x y and x formula connecting y and x it's going to be k times x so here when y is equal to 4 it says that x is equal to 5 so 5 times uh, actually it's going to be like this k times 5 it's going to be and, and then the k value it's going to be equal to 4 divided by 5 it's going to be and uh, we found the k value so y is equal to 4 over 5 times x it's going to be or 4 over 5x it will be okay find y this is the A part and the B part is coming. 
find y when is x is equal to 3. If x is equal to 3, then y is equal to, if you remember, 4 over 5 times x, which is equal to uh, y is equal to 4 over 5 times 3, it's going to be, which is equal to y is equal to 12, uh, 12 divided by 5. And here, uh, 12 divided by 5, if you want, you can write as one more decimal place, which is equal to uh, 2.4, it's going to be.